hello friends welcome back to my channel so today we are going to show one Python program to calculate the sum of the first n natural numbers in our high school math class we learned the formula of sum of first n natural numbers in this tutorial we will try to iterate the same thing in Python in few different ways so I have already written the numbers I have I want to add these numbers 1 to 10 and want to get the summation of these 10 numbers consecutive 10 numbers so if I uh, run this program I will see I can, we can see that the num uh, output is 55 we all know so uh, in math class we know that uh, if we want to derive the formula of summation of this number so if I want to uh, I want to show you the uh, formula how that is derived so for those who doesn't know how to get the formula so suppose if I write those numbers like 3 4 5 6 7 so if I just add these numbers like 10 plus 1 plus 9 plus 2 so 9 plus 2 we 11 plus 11 plus 11 plus so this 5 11 and if I make it like this we will get 10 into 5 so we can see this we have I have 10 numbers so here n is equal to 10 so I can write this number like 10 by 2 and then so this 11 means n plus 1 and 10 means n it means n into n plus 1 divided by 2 so this is my formula of summation of numbers uh, in natural numbers so if I want to write it write this formula into Python so how to write it so I will just take another okay I am going to remove this okay I am just going to if I take n is equal to 10 and sum of these numbers n into n plus 1 divided by 2 but I have to this is not norm in Python we have to use this sign for the multiplication this is the multiplication sign and then print sum if I run this program and I will get the same thing 55 so if you want to uh, eliminate this 0 this is already floating number so if I want to get the integer number then I can get this same way if integer of sum so I will get this 55 integer number so if I want to uh, suppose I have declared this declare 10 for this variable n so suppose I want to get the input from the user so in that case I have to write like this one uh, I have to use the input function so in, in that case I will use like uh, n is equal to uh, but uh, in that way you can see I am getting uh, string for a type of variable so I have to make it integer of that number otherwise if I don't use this line then I will get a f I will put I will put a number but I will get a type error 
so I have to use I have to use this uh, in, I have to convert this into integer from this string by integer so I'm getting this integer number now so I'm uh, this one prompt has been appeared and asking me for to uh, give the value of n and I'm giving the value of n is equal to 10 and I'll get the summation is 55 but uh, if I want to sh uh, get the summation in a fancy way like uh, I can write it like this total but I have to use this double quotation so I have to put the final result sum but if, if I write it like that uh, it will not give the proper result because it will get give a error message type error so I have to convert this integer form to a string form because in inside this print function you can see I am using this first part it is a string formation string format so I have to use this also I have to convert this to a string S sorry so now I will get total 55 so now this is a string this tot this function this uh, this portion this summation is this integer but still it's a string okay so for this way for for this part it's okay but uh, i want to show you the another uh, another way how to solve this by using for loop so so to use for loop we have to declare one variable first first i have to give the sum is equal to zero then for n in range if i put uh, just input suppose I just write 10 then n is equal to n plus 1 because every time I have to increase the value of n then sum is equal to sum plus n now I want to see the result like before total steer sum I will get 55 so, so in that way suppose I want to so it will iterate 10 times because I am giving the here 10 range 10 so it will this loop will run for 10 times so uh, I'll show you in detail how to how this loop work but uh, I'll, I want to show you and in another way like if uh, user want to give the input the value of n because if I want to if I put 10 it's fixed so I want to give different value for different time so in that case i have to uh, use the input command so if, uh, as you know input if you use input command then it will be a string so now it's uh, asking user to give a value here so I'm giving value 10 so this is showing total 55 so if I run this program again and I'm giving the value 100 it will give us the total 5050 5, so if I change the value to 5 
it will give 15 so so here we can see I have just shown everything here in my blog so I'm going to put 10 here so it's like taking the value 10 and 10 is equal to 10 here then it will go to this uh, to execute uh, to execute this line and pre in previous line it has executed this so after this line i am i have got sum is equal to 55 so i am going to i am using this command integer command so to make this summation to an integer value but it is not required actually because uh, after this uh, division sign I will get a floating number float so I'm just you know one I want to get this in integer that's why I'm using so after that last line yet I get the total 55 so if I want to uh, see this uh, this uh, for loop uh, so so it's a very interesting part so after first line it's asking uh, here it's asking me the n value of n i'm giving 10 i have submitting i'm submitting this so i am give i have given value 10 to n so now the summation is zero from the first line and n is equal to zero because uh, python is a zero starting python always start from zero so n is equal to one and sum is equal to still sum is equal to one a uh, zero because this line has not been yet executed so now it this line will be executed and this i got one in sum so now it will go to the this line again second line so third line and now it will you can see here this will be two so n is equal to two now and it will add it to sum sum is equal to one and n is equal to two so sum is equal to three now and this will just it will this loop will execute for 10 times n is equal to three now sum is equal to six so by this way if you just start this if you just execute this uh, next next you will see this when n is equal to 5 it will be it the sum will be sum is equal to 15 15 6 and 21 7 and 28 8 and 36 9 is and 45 and at last the last stage it will be 10 now when n is equal to 10 the sum will is equal to 55 and now this last line so you can see this still it will go to that for loop but my input was 10 so this for loop will not execute now it will go directly to this print command and it will this sum 55 will be shown here so total is equal to 55 so by this way you can understand how this uh, for loop operated so i hope uh, you have understood very well you have a good grasp on how this calculation worked so we can do this by this uh, formula by adding this but uh, this adding this by adding this you will not get uh, this will be a straightforward for few steps but after if you want to add uh, much more bigger number then it will not I mean, it will be counterproductive so uh, for this type of work we will use for loop okay so i hope you understand everything clearly thanks for watching have a nice day